What are the mechanisms of insulin uh, resistance? We talk about the whole concept or myth, if you will, of how sugar contributes to diabetes, but how is it, what is it that causes diabetes? Well, data, scientific data has shown that with animal fat consumption, fat, saturated fat consumption, mostly from animals, uh, you have an intramyocellular lipid accumulation, which results in insulin receptor dysfunction. That's probably mediated through mitochondrial uh, uh, dysfunction as well. And so when you have insulin receptor dysfunction, these insulin receptors don't respond to insulin very well. And so glucose, as the insulin receptors are like a key to allow the, the cells to take up glucose, glucose uptake is impaired. And so with the impairment of glucose uptake as a result of the fact that insulin receptors are impaired, you develop what's called insulin resistance. Early on in this phase, the pancreas just secretes more insulin. So if the insulin receptors are not working as well, maybe you can compensate by producing more insulin. As a result of that, you can overcome it. So your blood sugar may stay normal. And we have a lot of our patients will draw their labs and we'll measure insulin levels. We'll see an increase in insulin levels even though the blood sugar is normal. But over time, as more insulin receptor defectiveness occurs, the pancreas starts to wear out and it doesn't, is not able to compensate. So at that point in time, the blood sugar starts to go up and so you start to get diabetes. But for years, you can have insulin resistance. And it's not so much the blood sugar by itself that's causing problems, but high insulin levels can cause problems too. And so that can lead to mild cardiac hypertrophy. It can lead to smooth muscle cell abnormalities in the vasculature. So individuals who are not diabetics, quote unquote, but pre-diabetics, as we call them, who have insulin resistance, they'll have insulin resistance for many years. And they'll be laying down the groundwork for coronary artery disease, heart failure, et cetera, long before they get the diagnosis of diabetes. And in my, my opinion, patients I come in, once you've been diagnosed with diabetes, you have heart disease until proven otherwise, because you've had this long track of this insulin resistance that's also causing biochemical abnormalities physiologically, that's adversely affecting you physiologically and contributing to heart disease. Now, when you're consuming plant foods, there's this myth about, uh, well, if I only eat a vegan diet or vegetarian diet, I've got to mix my food very carefully. You know, I've got to you know, go into the chemistry lab and you know, make sure I'm getting this mixed with that so that I get the perfect nutrient, the perfect protein. But if you really analyze the food composition. Let's take about 500 calories of plant-based food and 500 calories of animal-based food. This slide is from Dr. T. Colin Campbell's uh, book, um, the, the China Study. And oh, by the way, this is from Dr. Uh, Neil Barnett's book on reversing diabetes. I want to get that uh, point across. It's at the bottom of my slide. Um, if you look at this, uh, comparing plant foods and animal foods, if you look at cholesterol and fat, animal-based foods clearly are superior. Cholesterol, zero on plants. Animal-based foods, about 137 milligrams for 500 calories. Now, when you think about it, broccoli and spinach doesn't have a liver, so it's not going to produce, produce cholesterol. Plants don't have liver, so they don't make cholesterol. You won't be consuming cholesterol in plant foods that you consume. Uh, fat, you can get fat in plant foods and seeds uh, and nuts, uh, but 500 calories average uh, plant foods, 4 grams compared to about 36 grams in animal foods. Now, if you look at all the other nutrients, protein, about equal, and all the phytonutrients, these are the cancer-fighting uh, nutrients, these are the nutrients that have, for, help for cell repair. All of these are superior in plant foods compared to animal foods. So clearly, in summary, multiple clinical studies showing plant-based nutrition, reversing heart disease, uh, the composition of plant foods, the superior to animal foods, which probably explains that, and also this biochemical mechanism that underscores the mechanism by which plant foods uh, are superior to animal foods in contributing to improvement of cardiovascular disease. 